Hey girls, hey guys, what's up? I hope you guys are doing really good. Uh, we made it to day 20. Like I'm so proud of all of you guys for uh, doing this workout every day. And make sure you kind of incorporate your own workout into it. Um, oh yeah, my mom, she's up to uh, 25 crunches a day. Um, and now she wants to do 25 at night also. And she just turned 69 years old. So it doesn't matter how old you are or uh, how young you are, you know, you set yourself a goal and you know, you can achieve it. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to talk about, uh, well, this book here is one of my books, If Dogs Could Talk. And I also have If Dogs Could Talk for Kids. And over the course of one year, I wrote down every single thing that my parents said, and then I put it into a book. And uh, she just made a kiss noise. Ever since then, she said all new things. And she's continuously learning new things every day. But it, it always amazes me, like, the things she says. It's like, you know, when you hear, like, a dog barking, and you see, it, like, it's talking to a ghost, and it's barking, and you can, you're like, I know it's a spirit there, a ghost or something. Well, imagine if your dog could talk. Uh, like my parrot, you know, my parrot talks. Um, so it's pretty neat. Um, like one time she was staring at a, like a chair, a blank chair, like almost as if she was looking at a ghost. And then all of a sudden she said, hi Doris. And like, I got chills because that's my grandma's name. And I never called my grandma, my grandma Doris. Cause growing up I had one grandma cause my other grandma passed away before I was born. So I was just called a grandma. And, uh, you know, she, uh, since then, it's pretty neat when she brings up uh, Doris. Uh, it's like, uh, I have a guardian angel that's always looking out for me, and my parent tells me about it. Um, many other things that she said, but um, next time, you know, you hear a dog barking at something, you know, maybe something's really there. But um, these are a couple of really fun books. Um, for kids, I left out all the bad stuff that she said. But, um... Yeah, anyway, I hope you guys are doing uh, good on your water. We're on uh, day 20. And, you know, if you're a big guy like me, about 250 pounds, um, that's what I weigh now, 250, you're going to want to be drinking a gallon of water a day. You know, a little less is okay. And if you're uh, in really good shape, working out a lot, you know, a little over a gallon's good, too. And, uh... If you're like, you know, about 130 pounds to like 150 pounds, like I mentioned, you want to drink a, a half a gallon a day or uh, two liters also. This is one liter. So you can drink two of those a day. And if you're like 250, 250 pounds, you want about close to four of these a day. Um, the way you want to do it actually is you want to take your body weight and just divide that by two. And that's how many ounces of water that you should be drinking. So, you know, you take a 200 pound person, divide that by two, that's 100 ounces. So that's a good, easy way to, you know, make sure you're doing it right. But um, just to simplify, you know, half a gallon to a gallon, it would be good. And uh, that's a main thing really, with uh, losing weight, getting in shape, is really drinking water. I'm gonna do a little bit of that right now. And uh, another good thing too to remember is, you know, obviously when you go to the bathroom, you know, what color it is, if it's clear, hey, you're drinking enough water, you're doing good. If it's a little yellow, you need to step it up, drink more water. All right, so today I'm like, um, I love doing chest and back, but I'm like a little intimidated, you know, cause I haven't done it for a while. But we're just gonna do it. We're gonna get started just a little. Do a couple of push-ups, maybe a couple pull-ups. You know, nothing too serious. And then we'll just step it up. Start having fun with it. And then we're gonna get those crunches done. Oh, all right, I'm gonna rest just one more second. All right, let's see. 
How many pull-ups do you guys think I can do? I gotta be able to do at least one, I hope. You wanna find out? I'm gonna go right over here. Check this out, I have this awesome pull-up bar, but it's not gonna be available for a little while. You know, once we'll get up to 100,000 subscribers, then this pull-up bar will be available. Um, but anyway, let's see. I'll do, I'll do a couple real quick. So like I did like 10, you know, not quite full pull-ups, but still good. When you do them, you know, just do the best you can. Now, even if you're not quite going the whole way yet, that's okay. So, you know, we'll step it up. You know, it's been a while since I've done some pull-ups, but I used to be able to do quite a few, like more than I could count. All right, so. Yeah, it feels kind of good, like, this is an old shirt I got, and yeah, it feels good fitting into my old clothes. Hopefully you guys are uh, feeling the same thing, too. <sighs> Alright, we'll do just a couple push-ups, too. Start getting our chest, like, feeling like we're doing something again. And then we'll be pushing 400 pounds on the bench press in no time. We'll keep it real simple. We'll also do like sets of 10. Maybe we'll just go up to 50. All right, so there's one set of 10. And with the push-ups, you know, they don't have to be perfect. Yeah, just do the best you can. And you can even do them on your knees. You know, just get on your knees like this. You know, just go down like that. You know, I like doing push-ups, but not right now I don't. Like, you know, once I get in shape, they're really fun. I like doing the clapping ones. Then I'll get my whole body up off the ground and clap. And then we can do something like on a bench. Those are really fun. But it'd probably be a couple weeks till I start having fun with them. All right, one set. I'll do a couple more. All right, so we have two sets. And we're not gonna think too much. We can keep it nice and easy today. All right, do another set. like the crunches, you know? Get back into them again. Ah, <sighs> now a little sip of water. Ten more. <laughs> All right, 
So even though it's hard, we got through it. We did it. Good job. Now we're going to move on to the crunches. And I'm going to take a little sip of water. So. Oh. Yeah, a tiny little bit. I feel my, my chest muscles like are like, thank you, you know? Just um, just did a few push-ups, a few pull-ups. Oh boy, what a difference that made. All right, let's get a few crunches done. So we have the first set done, 100 done. So we just have 900 to do. Uh, 900 to do. Not bad considering we've done 19,000 crunches in the last 20 days. That's pretty good. Uh, let me keep those on my finger so I remember. Just focus on your breathing. And focus on your mind knowing that you, you can do this, you can achieve your goals. You know, even with, say you're building a YouTube channel or you're uh, building your body or anything in the world you can imagine. It's kind of like a garden. You know, it takes a little while to see the sprout come up from the seed and then continue to you know form a beautiful plant. So that's kind of like, you know, working out, building a new YouTube channel, like, you're not gonna see results like right away. And unless you look real close, you know? But we got 100 done, let's keep going. Keep on breathing, keep focusing on your water and your breathing and keep doing it every day. Like uh, the whole talking about the garden, you know, garden also needs a certain amount of water every day, not too much, you know, just the right amount. And you don't want your garden bed to be uh, dry, you know, 
same as your body. You gotta really keep that water into your body. Um, that's the main thing, really. I was talking to my parents last night, actually, and my, my stepmom, she got me questioning myself, like, oh, well, that's, you know, too much water to drink. You know, you shouldn't drink that much. You know, she was concerned. And I fact-checked myself and looked it up, and yeah, you know, it is true, like, they used to say you had to drink, like, eight glasses a day, but now it's more like 12.5 glasses a day. So, you know, you could always do the math and uh, divide your weight by two. And that's how many ounces you should drink if you want to be precise. But just sticking with that half gallon to a gallon, you know, that is right. So it might seem like a lot, but um, it's really, really good. It's going to make you feel good. It can help you get in shape. All right, let's keep going. So we have 300 done. And I'm excited like for tomorrow's workout. And then the next day is like, usually I'm just like, oh man, I gotta get through you know, today's workout. But now I'm like, oh, I can't wait till tomorrow and the next day. But um, yeah, we got 300 done. And remember, if you're still like, feel like you're fat or if you're too skinny, um, it's okay, you know, you just got to keep every day, keep working on it. Or if your channel, you know, it's not getting any views or comments, that's okay. You know, you just got to keep working on it every day, you know, keep putting time into it. Keep following your heart and doing what you love. And then it doesn't really matter, really, you know, because you're doing what you love. So just stay focused and, uh, you know, don't look at the, you know, the outcome. Don't look at the end goal, like, enjoy every moment now that you can. <clears throat> All right, so we got 300 done. Hopefully it will start um, adding a lot of new, like, fun videos to our awesome adventures. So we'll see where the channel goes. I'm excited to see where it goes. You guys ready to keep going? All right, we're up to 400. Just about halfway there. <sighs> Take just a quick like 10 second break.
Alright, let's finish this last set of hunger here. Alright, so we're halfway there, 500 done. Oh, so, we should stretch just a hair, even though I'm sure you guys are all stretching, you know, in your own free time a lot. But we should just do it just a little bit now. All right, 600.
we made it up to 700. Uh, I was thinking, you know, some of you, you know, might not have like a really nice like pull up bar like mine, you know. So what I want you to do is uh, go for a little walk, you know, go to the park, uh, maybe uh, drive over to a local park nearby, even if it's cold out and just hang out outside for a little bit and uh, just enjoy nature and maybe watch the sunset and, you know, see if you can do a few pull-ups on a pull-up bar at a park or something like that. <sighs> they also have these really cool uh, pull-up bars, Rogue Nicks. Uh, they're pretty sweet looking. I'm gonna get one of those eventually, they're like black and red. Kind of, you can get them in different colors and different bars and stuff. Well, those are pretty cool pull-up bars. But anyway, we got 700 done. Let's keep going. Get up to that lucky number eight. Or actually, lucky number seven, really. But once you're up to 800, you're like, okay, 800, I got these last two, you know? So let's get another 100 done real quick. That's pretty good. Good job. Whatever number that you did make it to, remember it's not really the number we're trying to do. It's more of uh, being consistent, you know, building this new lifestyle, this new uh, habit, you know. So yeah, we're up to 800. told you too, you gotta work on um, some uh, activities, like, you know, do things that you love, you know. Um, go on a walk, go on a run, go on a hike, bike ride, you know, lift weights, um, do these crunches, you know. Um, you know, go sailing, you know, go rock climbing, go canoeing, you know, go snowboarding. There's gotta be something out there that's, uh, even if it doesn't sound that fun, I can do it anyway, you know? And uh, I think you'll see, you know, improvements in your life. So we got 800 done. Oh, oh yeah, this is a pretty cool picture right here. I was talking about uh, my grandma, Doris. Uh, this is my grandma and grandpa. So it was pretty neat when I showed Ryan a picture of my grandma. She just stared at the picture and she was like, wait a minute, that's who I see. So you may make sure, you know, you let your mind believe in things that you can't see. Cause there's things going on right now that you can't see. And uh, make sure you just focus and channel in on the beauty of life. All right, let's keep going.
901. Or a few more. I did an extra one there. But um, yeah, just uh, 99 to go now. But I'm still gonna do a whole set of 100. <sighs> so yeah, after we finish these last hundred, um, just make sure you uh, go on your day and think positive, good things. And uh, try not to worry about things like you know, because it's really like there's an old saying about like a rocking chair. You know, you can sit in that rocking chair and rock and it's not going to get you anywhere. You know, it's kind of like worrying. It's kind of like sitting in that rocking chair. It doesn't get you anywhere. So just, uh, you know, don't worry about things and you know, try to enjoy life today and have a good day today. And, um, you know, as we continue to, you know, the, make this channel grow and get more views and comments, um, we'll start doing a lot more things together. Like, um, we'll start like cooking together, hanging out together, and we can create like our own Truman show together and, uh, hang out. But for now, let's finish this up. One set to go. So we did it. We did our thousand crunches and we got started with our chest and back workouts. So that's great. Um, we're gonna take it easy. Just have that be it today. And um, yeah, tomorrow for uh, day 21, um, I'm gonna share a little bit with you guys about a new story I'm writing. It's Orion the Star, Monosaurus, the Rhinoceros. Okay, I had to think of the title because it's a working title. And um, I started writing it and I wrote the first half of it. And it's for my seven-year-old little baby girl. She's a princess, my daughter, Lily Jade. And uh, made me think of that because it uh, has to do with a unicorn. And it's from the constellation Montessaurus, which is an invisible constellation to the naked eye. So it's pretty neat how um, you know, some things you can't see, just like this constellation, but it's still there. And, uh, but it's a really fun story. And it's the, uh, uh, let's see, you got Orion the Star is the first book. Orion the Star, the Pink Dolphin is the second. Orion the Star, the Purple Purse Merman is the third. Orion the Star, the Castaway is the fourth. And now this is the fifth book in the series. Orion the Star, Monosaurus, the Rhinoceros. And um, I also thought about calling it like Monosaurus the Princess or something like that. But um, yeah, it was really fun when I started writing the story the other morning. But I'll share just a little bit of that with you guys tomorrow. And um, oh, I almost started doing more crunches. But um, anyway, have a beautiful day. I love you guys.